what's up my friends my name is bill welcome to cars that last on today's video engines that last 300,000 miles the toyota 4.7 liter v8 now the toyota 4.7 liter v8 has been in eight vehicles from 1990 to 2004 and continues on from there i've got some amazing statistics about the longevity of the 4.7 liter v8 now if you're new to my channel I study the car marketplace. I look for vehicles that are known to be reliable, affordable, and can last a long time. Now, what do you need to know about this engine? From 1998 to 2000, it was voted Ward's 10 best engines. I was inspired by a question that I received on one of my other videos. What would be a good vehicle to pull my small fishing boat? And it made me think of some of these vehicles in this video. Now, the pros with the 4.7 liter Toyota V8, all these vehicles, they all can be found currently across the United States for less than $8,000. I know you guys have seen a couple of other videos on the Million Mile Tundra and Matt Farah's Million Mile Lexus LS400. So the downside to some of these vehicles is that they are older. They may not have the latest technology or the latest safety features. One other downside to this engine, it does have a timing belt. So every 90,000 miles, you should be replacing the timing belt and water pump. That could be a $750 repair or more, depending on how much your mechanic charges. Now the 4.7 liter V8 started in 1990 with the engine code 1UZ-FE. It was found in the Lexus SC400, the Lexus LS400, and the Lexus GS400. Now for the Lexus SC400, that's the two-door sport coupe. These are still extremely for affordable. I almost want to don't say anything other than to you guys, just to say, hey, this is a pretty good vehicle, and I'm surprised that you can still find these for five to six grand. Just my gut says, someday, somebody's gonna wake up to the value of these cars, and you might see them start to appreciate even more. They are getting close to being more desirable from a collector standpoint. Now, there are only 31 vehicles in the study, four of which had more than 200,000 miles or roughly 12%, and the highest mileage car had 233,000 miles. Now again, because this is a luxury sport coupe, I'm guessing that people don't drive these nearly as often as a daily commuter to rack up high miles. But they are luxurious, affordable, comfortable, rear-wheel drive, two-door coupes. Car number two is the Lexus LS400 from 1990 to 2000. Also had the 1UZ FE engine. Out of 93 cars in the study, 20% had more than 200,000 miles. The highest mileage had 366,000 miles. Now, after 2000, the Lexus LS400 turned into the LS430, which was a 4.3 liter V8 also very reliable. And car number three is the Lexus GS400 from 1992 to 2000. Also a very low production vehicle. You can still find these as affordable performance sedans. Out of 20 vehicles, four had more than 200,000 miles or 20%, and the highest mileage had 276,000 miles. Now, there was a variation of the 1UZ FE engine turned into the 2UZ FE engine. Vehicles under that include the Lexus LX470. There were 31 Lexus LX470s, less than $8,000. 19 of those had more than 200,000 miles, or 61% of the vehicles. The highest one was a 1998 model with 420,000 miles. Three of the vehicles had more than 300,000 miles, and one had more than 400,000 miles. I've covered the Lexus LX470 and the Toyota Land Cruiser, one of my other videos. Extremely reliable, dependable vehicles. Downside, gas mileage, 12 to 14 miles per gallon. The next car is the Toyota Land Cruiser. This was from 1998 to 2004. There were 31 vehicles, of which 23 had more than 200,000 miles. The highest had 353,000 miles. 74% of Land Cruisers had more than 200,000 miles. Now, this engine was also included in the Lexus GX470, which is essentially a Toyota 4Runner with Lexus badging. The V8 was available from 2002 to 2004. Out of 52 vehicles, 19% had more than 200,000 miles, and the highest had 338,000 miles. Now, the cousin to that is the Toyota 4Runner from 2002 to 2004. They also put the 4.7 liter V8 in, out of 100 of these vehicles, 41% had more than 200,000 miles, and the highest had 332,000 miles. The next vehicle was the Toyota Sequoia from 2000 to 2004. This was the highest number of vehicles available in the study of 411. Out of 411 vehicles, 41% had more than 200,000 miles. 
two had more than 300,000 miles, including the highest at 304,000 miles. Take a look at this photo here. I captured a early to mid 2000s Toyota Sequoia in the parking lot in the mall. And you can see there's very little to no rust on this vehicle. Now in comparison, I also in the same parking lot saw this Chevy Suburban. You can see by the Suburban, there's considerably more rust. If you're looking to buy an older vehicle, consider the Toyotas for less rust. And finally, the Toyota Tundra included the 4.7 liter V8 from 1999 to 2004. Out of 199 vehicles, almost 42% had more than 200,000 miles. Three had more than 300,000 miles, including the highest mileage had 355,000 miles. Now you can also find the Toyota Tundra with a 3.4 liter V6. That has also been proven to be a very reliable engine. Now this engine did carry over through 2005 and beyond. However, I chose not to include them in this study. In 2005, there were some rust issues on the frame with the Tundra and Sequoia. So I really wanted to focus on staying consistent from roughly the 90s to the early 2000s. But there is a million mile Tundra. It's a 2007 model with a 4.7 liter V8. So in the description below on my video, I found a really interesting article about the 2007 Tundra that has a million miles. They actually broke that vehicle apart and took a look at it. It's quite impressive how well that vehicle was made. All right, Bill, so what? Some of you might be saying, well, what about Chevy? What about Ford? What about GMC? So I thought I'd put together a couple more numbers for you to take a look at a comparison of what maybe similar vehicles might look like. So for this comparison, I chose the Ford Expedition. I did the same search for vehicles less than $8,000. Now the Ford Expedition came with a 4.6 liter V8 or the 5.4 liter V8. And some of these have known to be reliable. I've had many comments from Expedition owners on some of my other videos about the reliability of these engines. It's also the same engine that goes into the Ford F-150. So of 1,786 vehicles, 21% had more than 200,000 miles, and there were 11 above 300,000 miles. So the numbers for all eight of these 4.7 liter V8 vehicles, there were 968 vehicles, 16 had more than 300,000 miles, and there was one above 400,000 miles. 40% of all the vehicles had more than 200,000 miles. So how come Bill doesn't drive a 4.7 liter V8? Actually, I did. I bought a brand new 2005 Tundra back in 2005. Loved the truck. Had a long commute of 70 miles each day, and I didn't enjoy the 15 miles per gallon. The other downside for me, for the older Toyota vehicles, I needed a snowplow. That's why I bought a 2500. In my research, I found the older Tundras just don't hold up as well as a heavier duty three quarter ton truck. So to my YouTube subscribers, I just wanna say thank you. I am grateful for your support. Just a quick story. I've spent most of my career sitting at a desk. I love these older vehicles. I'm very passionate about them. About 10 years ago, I had a dream that I wanted to create a YouTube channel. I remember earlier this year in May, I signed up my 100th subscriber. I just kept making YouTube videos because it was something that I enjoy and it's a subject that I'm really passionate about. Well, it turns out that 15,000 people are also as passionate as I am about it. So maybe you might find inspiration. I know that sounds crazy. Miracles can happen. If somebody told me at the beginning of 2018, that at the end of 2018, I'd have 15,000 subscribers and almost 1.4 million views on YouTube. I would probably laugh. So maybe you find inspiration this as well. Whatever your dream is, I know you can find it. I know I am. Again, I'm grateful for the support. I've got more videos coming your way. Send me your comments. I'd love to hear them. And thanks so much for watching.